This is getting trickier. I don't remember reaching out like this. A little too convenient, don't you think? Even if it hasn't been on purpose yet, we know for sure they aren't too keen on keeping us alive. Give it a rest, Jay. I'm not a fan of Vincula, but slowing us down with casualties don't make no sense either. Greg's right. It's a lot more likely the planet's really just unstable. I mean, we've had problems with them, but you don't think Vincula is trying to hurt anybody, right? I'm just saying, I'm keeping an eye out in front of me and behind me while we're going breach exploring. You'd be smart to do the same. I don't think it was sabotage. Why not? Well, that rock that came tumbling down should have hit me. Cassius pushed me out of the way and grabbed the vial before it broke. What does that have to do with- Jay, listen. It's already a crazy shot to make, is what Lizzie's saying. Somebody did drop a rock on us, there's no way they could have aimed it that well, first of all. And secondly, what the hell would they want to off Lizzie for? Cassius? It's easy to imagine a reason. They've been giving Vincula hell since day one. But you're not making any sense with this one, Jay. Ugh. Hey man, I get it. We thought we saw Cassius get vaporized right in front of our eyes. But you did good out there. Cassius is a quick thinker, you gotta admit. Got the mask air mix turned on, and after you patch the suit, we're able to walk out of there. Gotta say... For all the occupational hazards we keep getting tossed into, we sure got the chops for it. It can't be over soon enough. I lost one already, man. I ain't losing another one. I know you ain't. I won't let you. Not while I'm around. You can bet on it. Thanks for having our backs, Jay. Yeah, thanks, Jay. We don't have to worry about a thing with the security team around. Well, that's nice of you to say, anyway. I'm just doing my best. If only we can convince some of these knuckleheads to leave Strange Lakes alone. That's twice now. I ain't pressing my luck with a third. They can give us some kind of 30-foot pole if they want another damn sample. You can say that again. All in service to breach research, of course. You've been really quiet over there. Are you okay, Sai? Um, uh, what? Did you say something? I just asked if you were okay. I'm all right, I think. Just spaced out, I guess. Hmm. Penny, for your thoughts? I just really hope that's not what we need for the next breach. You got a clue about what's next? Not yet. Not until I know which sigil is on breach three on Pandemonium. Ah, right. Yeah. We got to sift out which link stone to use first. I still have over a dozen link stones in my office, all with different characters written on the metal bands. Trying to translate them all would be a waste of time, since we're just going to find a new sigil on this breach, and the next one, and the one after that, until we inevitably find a world, or creature, too big and dangerous for even the mighty breachers to handle. The more things change, the more they stay the same. I'm sure your pessimism will be helpful this time. What am I supposed to do? See the glass is half full? If the number of link stones correlates with the number of breaches, we're a good ways off from that. Maybe instead of thinking about your workload for once, you could be sparing a thought for someone who almost died today. I... I am. I was... I'm trying not to think about how narrowly they escaped. That was too close for comfort. Ugh. Well, sorry that seemed to inconvenience you. Hey, hey, stop it! Knock it off, you two. Really want Cassius to see y'all bickering first thing? Everybody's worried, I'm sure. Just cool it. Fine! <sighs> Whatever! What are you even seeing here, Cassius? Lizzie! Stop being mean! No cheap shots after the ceasefire! <clears throat> even if it's really deserved? My dad always said, if you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. Wait till your mom's out of earshot. Then come tell me. Ha! <laughs> That's a good one. Ugh, I hate it when dad and little sis are being mischievous. Can't you see this is the sad corner? 
No sadness allowed. Cassius was still conscious when they went into the trauma room. I've got high hopes and I refuse to be weighed down. Or let anyone else be either. You are terrible. The worst kind of sibling. How dare you scatter our doubts like that? Shame on you. Let this not be a habit, but I agree with you, Silas. Hey, what's... The... Oh my Cassius? God. Yeah, what are you doing up? Cassius, hey, you're really good oh, whoa, God. whoa. Okay. Yeah, I'm all right, everyone. They patched me up. I just have some fresh new scar tissue on my leg. Looks like the suit absorbed most of the explosion, thankfully. That's good. That's real good to hear. Could have been a lot worse, for sure. You're telling me. All right, everyone. You should try and get some rest while you can. What? But why? What? You're kidding. Hey, no. No buts. I'm still mobile, so we're heading out again tomorrow as soon as we get some rest today. The sooner we get pandemonium behind us, the better. I'll see you all tomorrow. You guys? What was that all about? All right, Jay. I was bad-mouthing you earlier, but what the hell's going on? This is some kind of conspiracy bullshit. Is it Cassius' turn to get replaced by some kind of fake-ass clone? I don't know. That definitely looked like Cassius, though. <sighs> They've been acting like that since the Pandemonium mission started. I noticed it during the pre-mission brief. It... it must have something to do with Vo. Why do you say that? We were chatting in the specimen lab the night before. I went to grab a drink, and when I came back, Cassius was acting like the shade we just saw. They said Vo came by, and then left for their trailer. Wouldn't tell me anything else. What could it have been? Oh. What do you mean, oh? I might have an idea of what's happening. I've been poking around in the Vincula chat logs again. Spill the beans, Alex. We gotta know. It looks like Vincula has been getting harassed by an off-site group trying to get Cassius removed from the Breach Project. What? Why? Why would they want Cassius removed? Apparently they were being really persuasive. There was loads of money being promised in exchange for Cassius's removal and safe transfer home. All the offers are tied back to someone from, and I quote, family of Nicholas Thatcher. Oh. Oh. They are related. I knew it. Wait, I don't get it. You don't know the Thatcher family, old man? I don't keep up with the times, and that's beside the point now. Who's this Nicholas fellow? Only the head of one of the top 50 richest families in America. Hell, I went to community college on a Thatcher scholarship, Greg. They hand those out like candy. I had wondered if there was any connection. I don't have a way to Google things here at Vincula, but even I know about Nicholas Thatcher, one of the new tech barons. I never asked because Cassius seems so keen on burning those bridges. If Fo went and had a chat with Cassius, it was probably about that. The requests have been persistent and escalating in price, but Vincula has turned them all down. In fact, the only reason the Thatchers haven't been here already is they don't know where here is. Guess we're all in the same boat there. So, Cassius is... Under Vo's thumb. This isn't hard to figure out, I think. If Cassius doesn't perform breach exploration duties adequately, it's out to the family they clearly don't have good ties with. Hot damn. No wonder they've been so frustrated. What should we do? Not much we could do, I'm afraid. Cassius is still the boss, and the best thing we can do is be the best support group we can be. And that means getting some rest. That's it? The old man is right again, Alex. We can't stop now. That would mean Cassius disappearing back into some very rich and influential shenanigans. I guess we gotta see it through. For their sake. I... Uh, uh, I can't believe this! I'm... I'll see you guys later! Hey, where are you going? Not to the trailers, that much I can say. 
Elizabeth has been spending time with Vo lately. Ugh, nothing good will come of that. Can't stop her either. Let's get some rest for now. Ain't much else we could do. Hey, Silas? Are you gonna check on Cassius before turning in? I had thought about it. Probably a good idea. Yeah, if anyone should do it, I figured it should be you. Anyway, you know. I don't know. Why should it be me in particular? We all have to watch after the team lead. I mean, yeah, we do. But I think Cassius cares about your opinion the most. Please tell me you knew that. Knew about what exactly? You know what? Uh, never mind. It, it's been a long day, and I'm really not thinking straight. My mind's still going from all that's happening and worrying about Cassius, and maybe I breathe in too much chlorine gas on pandemonium or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, don't worry about it. I'm gonna go get some rest. Now, bye, Sai! Sai! Let me borrow the little friend! Uh, um, all right? Progress has been regrettably slow. But I remain optimistic about the Breacher team's chances of completing this mission shortly. There's no need to go wandering aimlessly through a forest. This time, our prize lies before us, if we can only find our way through this treacherous fog valley. Indeed. I only wish we had a way to see clearly while we're on pandemonium. That would simplify things greatly, yes. I... I might get a chance to see more of the creatures and the others like them. I'm becoming fond of the name Gem Crab. We haven't had an official naming session yet, though. But what do you think? Oh, for the little crustaceans you're drawing? They carry their homes on their backs, and instead of seashells, it, it looks like they chisel a space out of the gemstone deposits and rock layers around pandemonium. Some of them are quite lovely. I suppose gem crab would be quite appropriate then. It, it might be appropriate, but is it right? Does it really fit? Hmm. Only one way to be sure. Let me see. I have no doubt that when I lay my own eyes upon this creature, it'll be like seeing it for the second time. I think you have captured its essence here, Elizabeth. As you always do. Th thanks And I think Gem Crab really fits it. <laughs> I think so too. I'm sorry it's such slow going. I do think we're going as fast as the train allows, under the circumstances. Perhaps. That reminds me. Oh? I wonder if I might ask a favor of you. This isn't strictly a vincula-approved activity, but if you wouldn't mind doing it, just for my sake. Oh, I could try? I want you to keep an eye on Cassius for me. Cassius? There have been some developments on the personal side for Cassius. I am loath to let anything interfere with our work at this stage, but I'm sure you've noticed Thatcher and I aren't on the best of terms. Uh, there is a mild personality difference. As such, I need someone I trust to watch out for them. You've always shown great care over the breaches thus far, Elizabeth. And I believe I trust you. I'm hoping we won't suffer any further security difficulties. Who knows what kind of damage could be done to our establishment and our personnel. But if we do have any failures of secrecy, I'd like to be sure it's not coming from our very own expedition lead. 
I just want someone to monitor Cassius's mental state and pay attention to things they might be saying. I'd hate to have to take any drastic action, but I must think of the well-being of everyone here at Vincula's Breach Project. Would you do that for me? You... You want me to spy on Cassius? Spy? Why, of course not. Surely it won't come to that. I just want you to listen and tell me what you hear. Just like we spoke about in the mission briefing. We must all speak up about what we see, if we are to remain secure. I... uh, can try. I'll try. That's all I can ever ask. Thank you, Elizabeth. I think I'm done for the day. Thank you for the chat, Miss Fo. Anytime. You know, Elizabeth, Vincula could use trustworthy individuals in more leadership roles. It would be a great burden off my own shoulders as well. I hope we can look forward to your career blooming here at Vincula. Rest well, Elizabeth. Well, how did it go? (sighs) It's as bad as we thought. Maybe worse. Oh, splendid. We have got to watch Cassius's back. Vingula will take any opportunity to go for them. Breachers forever, I suppose. I'll talk to Alex about that other idea I had. Do you think Vo knows about our little friend? The what? Oh, Oh! No, I don't think so. I'm hoping I'm... kind of gaining her trust? Ugh, how do you wear this thing when Vincula people are around? I thought I was going to have a heart attack! I've invested heavily into antiperspirants. I didn't think it was possible to hear myself sweating, but I've since learned otherwise. Now, let's go and check on everyone before we get some rest. Recorder on, please. Recorder on. Recorder is on. We've arrived at the site of the very dangerous body of liquid, tentatively dubbed the Quicksilver Lake, due to its color and viscosity. We have removed the closest anchor and are taking a route that will put us far away from the lake and its surroundings. Thanks to the new, uh, long-range retrieval technology. Super long grabby hands! Yes, those. We were able to secure a tiny sample of the liquid again, and we'll be leaving it here, stored safely in a specimen-secure containment box for us to recover on our way out. Understood. Excellently done, Breacher Team. You are ready to resume the mission, then? Almost. Mm, Got it. We should be ready shortly. Greg needs to do a tether check, and we'll be on our way. How exciting. We might be within a day or two of our goal. We must make I think I did it! Bo, can you hear me? Bo, are you there? Holy crap, I did it! Silas, can you still hear her? I think... Uh Uh-uh! Just nod or shake your head. She should still be able to hear you and only you. Good. Uh... Nothing. Nothing. Just finding my footing. What'd you do? Alex, what's going on? I've got our headsets on a switch now. I can talk to Vo and the Vincula recorder. Or I can switch it to send the data to stream to our secret recorder and only transmit what the rest of us say. Only Silas's headset still talks to Vo to avoid suspicion. Nice. So we can finally talk about how batshit insane everything is? Ooh, Cassius! We can finally talk now! We wanted you to know that we're with you all the way! Even if it means doing some tinkering with Vincula hardware. Why? Why did you do this? I thought you might appreciate the extra effort. If I just slipped a note under your door, you might not believe me. You said it. 
It's breachers for life. I hate seeing you get dragged around like this, but know that we're with you all the way. You got our backs, and we got yours. Just so long as you haven't actually been replaced by a doppelganger. Like Lizzie. Ugh, I thought we were over that joke! I'm still me, I think. I feel like I'm dreaming right now, though. There's... There was no need to do any of this for my sake. Yeah, there was. You need to let it out. That's right! Tell Vo how you really feel! Now's your chance! Ugh, fuck you, Vo! I won't do what you tell me! I'll keep fighting you every chance I get! Just you wait until everyone hears what you've been up to, you high-heeled-wearing bitch! Fuck you, Vo! Fuck you, Vo. Mm, not sure what it was. Sounded far away, Vo. Like the far-off victory cry of a freed prisoner. Sorry, I'm waxing eloquent again. I will try and refrain. Feeling better? <sighs> a little. It's a start. Thanks, guys. <sighs> Guess I have to turn it back on now. Just remember, if you feel like venting a little, I'm your gal. Please, ready to roll. All right, let's get moving. Recorder off for now, please. Understood. Recorder on. Recorder is on. Did we do it? It's looking pretty level here. What's our distance? Around two and a half kilometers. Just shy of that, actually. More like 2.4. Uh, yes, we might have found the halfway point. We can hope. If the terrain is leveling out, we may start our ascent soon. With any luck, we'll have found the right mountain, too. Not a minute too soon. Visibility is super low here. I can barely see anyone on the tether. We're gonna need to use more anchors, Cassius. We ain't got much tether left, and I don't want to lose any more. How's everyone's tanks holding up? Uh, it's got two-thirds. Same. I have that, too. Yep, same here. Affirmative. All right, we can go a little bit further, and then we'll need to call it. If we don't have a clear shot, I'm not risking the last half of our tanks. I will remind the breacher team that there are a few spare tanks. Alex? If the objective is close by, I urge you to use... <sighs> the sweet sound of silence. God, that is so nice. Isn't it, though? What do you mean, use the spare tanks? There's not even enough of them for everyone, and we can make faster time with the tether in place. We fine if we don't kill ourselves in the meantime. Have a little fucking patience, Vo. Man, what if something just came along and yoink, no more Vo? Is that too much to hope for? Jay, I can't believe you. Why'd you go and get my hopes up like that? <laughs> <laughs> now my whole day is ruined. Uh, uh, Cassius reads you loud and clear. Uh, but appears deep in thought, Vo. Ugh, I guess we gotta switch back. We need to get moving anyway. You got it. Yeah. What's going on? Hello, do you need me? Come in, what's happening? We're, we're pulling back. We've retreated. We've retreated back to the anchor. Is it what I think it is? I definitely saw a claw go by just now. What the hell is it? Shh, I don't want its attention. Okay. Okay, I, I think it's moved on. Holy shit. Can you explain what we just saw? Uh, so... You know how crustaceans tend to keep growing over their whole lifespans? That... was a gem crab? I think so. It makes sense, I guess. They must naturally head deeper into pandemonium as they get bigger, and we haven't seen any natural predators for them. Aside from the lake. They just... keep on growing. Indefinitely. That thing was huge! I couldn't even see all of it! It looked like a wall was 
going by in the fog. We got lucky! <laughs> Again! It might have stepped on us with its claws, and we'd be done for. No question. I'm just glad it didn't pay any attention to us. Greg, come with me. We gotta move the anchor up behind us much higher. We need to give those giants room to maneuver underneath the tether, or they'll end up dragging the whole thing along with them. I got you. Let's go. Always more delays. Unavoidable, I suppose. Oh, uh, recorder off, though, while we work on this anchor. Understood. Recorder off. Recorder on, please. Recorder on. Recorder is live. <sighs> All right. We've secured this anchor as high up on our side of the mountain as we can. That should be enough to protect the tether, depending on just how big these crabs get. Excellent. Proceed. We can't proceed. We've exhausted half our oxygen supply and have no way of knowing if this is the correct mountain yet. That, and we need to see how the tether handles the crab traffic. We're pulling back for now. We'll easily be able to make more time tomorrow. And if that doesn't work for you, you can shove it up your own. Acceptable for now. Return to base. Time to reverse formation. Oh man, I gotta look at y'all's ugly mugs again on your way by? Here, I got it. Promise it won't be for long, Gramps. <sighs> another day, another scant few meters of progress. I don't hear any gargantuan gem crabs either. Hopefully our passing will be undisturbed. Oh hey, fancy seeing you guys. You come to the opaque fog bank often? Hardy har. Now get a move on. Hey, guys. What's up? Do you see that? Where? Give us a direction, Jay. Quit planning around. Up. I it's up. What the hell? What's up there? What's going on out there? What's above? We can't see anything from the mountaintop. It... It looks like a halo of light. Bluish-white light. I can't tell where it's coming from, but it's so dizzying to look at. A halo of light? Am I reading you correctly? Silas, speak up. Y yes uh, it looks like it's stationary. I don't know how long it's been there. It's not illuminating our surroundings. It's just hovering in the air above our heads. Like a guardian angel. Let's not stick around to find out why. Come on, everyone. Uh, 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 Jay, Jay, where are you? Uh, what's what's happening? happening? Everyone, grab on. Shit, something's hey, hey, hold something's on. Pulling me up. We got you. Some kind of jellyfish. Silas, grab the tether. Quick, snap what? out of it. What's happening? What's happening? Grab it, grab the line. You gotta pull it back there. He! Go. We're winning. Get your feet under you. We can hold. Jay! Jay, are you still there? It's still pulling me up. Or it's getting closer. Fuck, I don't know. It doesn't feel like you're winning from up here, okay? Ugh, I'm ready. Let's go. Pull. Heave. Pull. I can see it. Greg, he's trapped. Put your weight into it. Hold it there. I'm going to cut him loose. <laughs> Great job. Are you alright, Jay? Jay! Jay, can you hear us? Oh, hey. Never been happy to see these stupid rocks. And you guys. Of course. We got you, buddy. You're gonna be Crap. all- Crap. My alarms are going off. The dot alarms? Yeah. Must have been something up there by the... Whatever that thing was. Ugh, fuck. I don't feel so good. Good thing I turned my oxygen mix on. We gotta get him back quick. Can you walk? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Maybe. Let's try it. <clears throat> All right, we're on our way back. We need a medical team ready for Jay. Understood. Good luck, Breacher team.
Syntax is a podcast by Twin Strangers Productions and is licensed under an attribution share alike 4.0 international license. Today's episode was directed and produced by Stella Odom and written by Ty Vaughn. Silas Caldwell is played by Ty Vaughn. Cassius Thatcher is played by Beth Fung. Elizabeth Bellinger is played by Morgie B. Alex Yard is played by Jules Christine. Greg Washburn is played by Cody Burke. Jeremiah Woods is played by Eldrin Smith. Miss Evelyn Vo is played by Kyla Crockett. Listen to other episodes, find our social media links, and make donations by visiting syntaxpodcast.com. Rate us on iTunes and Google Podcast, and follow us on Spotify. Tweet us at Twin Strangers P with your burning questions and engage with fellow listeners on our subreddit, r slash syntaxpod. Thanks for listening. <laughs>